Hello people, so here we're doing a review of Power of the Dog. This is the brand new Netflix film directed by Jane Campion, stars Benedict Cumberbatch and Kristen Dunst and a bunch of other people whose names I cannot remember at the moment. Also, I forgot about her, Thomas and Mackenzie's in this movie. She's um, the lead in Last Night in Soho, did not expect her to be in this movie. She's only in about, it, in there for like maybe about five minutes, but it was still really nice this year. Um, I had um, relatively high expectations going into this movie. Uh, I, I had my um, setbacks, knowing that this is going to be, uh, you know, uh, you know, awards contending western. It's not my particular type of movie. Like I, I, I could watch a tons of, um, you know, awards movies. I, I, I love awards movies. It's just westerns plus awards, and it do doesn't necessarily sound like something that would mesh very well with me. But surprisingly. I thought this movie was pretty good. I thought it was a haunting, pre pretty well-paced um, piece of movie. <laughs> um, I will say, I saw there the synopsis on Netflix hints at a twist. And I watched the trailer and, and read the synopsis back to back. And I predicted the twist by both just reading the synopsis and watching the trailer. So if you kind of want to be surprised, maybe I recommend not to watch both of those. I mean, to read and um, watch both. Because I, I really did see it coming. And it's not to say that it's bad that I saw it coming. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I just read and watched it bo both back to back. Like, I don't think that's what many people do. So it's partially my fault. So, yeah. Anyway, um, this movie, the performances in this movie, the the cinematography, um, the performances. Let's just get started with the performances. Benedict Cumberbatch completely transformed for this role. Because after I got to watch this movie, I saw an ad for No Way Home pop up and I, I just could not see him as Doctor Strange anymore. I, I could not see him in that light of, you know, a superhero because of how haunting he was in this movie. Kristen Dunn. Kristen Dunn. Just can't say her name right. Um, it's nice to see her in a role that I find likable because I just got done watching the Raimi Spider-Man trilogy and um, it's really nice to see what she's doing nowadays and she's aged. Wow. No offense to her. She still looks good for her age. And um, it, it is cool to see her in a movie and to actually see her as a character that I like because I really liked her character in this movie. And of course, you know, there's some stuff that happens to her that's kind of like a, a down spiral, but towards the, at the beginning of the movie, I really liked her character. And you know, this movie has like a lot of deep themes and messages and um, stuff that really can apply, you know, to modern day. You know, a lot of people won't really love the message of this movie. And, but it didn't bother me. I thought it was fine. It's just, you know, really, it's really a message that will fit the type of people that watches this movie, um, particularly um, men. And I don't want to sound like I'm, you know, generalizing, but once you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. I don't want to sound like, oh, only men can watch this because women are going to like this movie too. It, it's a broad, if you're a film lover, you're going to like this movie. So, but I think the message really speaks because it's very on the nose to, you know, in, in like pressure of like, you know, masculinity, masculinity and all that. So I thought elements of that were really well handled and really well done. Um, the cast was great. The cinematography was beautiful. Um, like Nomadland, this movie, you know, I, I can't imagine really them doing much C CGI. I don't think there, were, there could have been no CGI. No, it wouldn't have surprised me. Um, so... Like Nomadland, it's that movie this year where it's just so beautiful, so gorgeous to look at. Overall, this movie impressed me with its acting, it impressed me with its themes, and it really impressed me with its pacing. And for me, going in with expectations of, I don't really care for westerns, this movie really did impress me. And um, even though I saw, I, I thought the ending was, I felt like maybe I could have even predicted the um, twist, even with um, me without reading the synopsis. Um, that's the only thing that, that kind of bothered me. Like, I thought, I just thought it was kind of blaringly obvious. Um, and, yeah. Overall, I'm not going to give this a glowing score because of just how, you know, it's not necessarily my type of movie, per se. But I'm still going to give it a great score. And I'm going to give, um, Power of the Dog an 8 out of 10. It could go up with another watch because, um, Last night I had it at a 7.5 and I want, I was like, you know what, let me give, I want to give myself a day to process this. And then, um, because, you know, with movies like this, they're so deep, you have to think about them a lot. With, you know, of course with this messaging, I kind of had to give it a day. It's, did it stick that message well enough for me to go, oh, okay, 
um, I want to remember this movie, or is it, or I was really concerned, is this movie going to go down as one of those movies I just kind of forget, it's going to be mentioned with an Oscar, um, at the Oscars a lot, and then once the Oscars is done, people are going to kind of forget about it. Overall, this movie may, might slightly fall into that, but there are still a lot of elements here that I will really remember. So yeah, anyways, that's my review of Power of the Dog. Comment down below what you guys thought of the, um, Power of the Dog. So yeah, anyways, like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that, and adios.